Welcome back to my channel. I am Velvety Cleopatra. My real name is Gemma, but you can call me Velvy or Cleo or whatever. Just call me. Um, as you can probably see, I am feeling a lot better today um, because it is spooky season. Okay, one moment. Let me just prepare myself. <laughs> um, yes. Why do I feel like the start of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I feel like Willy Wonka. Good morning, starshine. The earth says hello. Okay, let's be sensible now. I've been buying Halloween goodies, so these sunglasses are just like, oh, come on, come on. And then I also got this spooky bag. I got two spooky bags. I got this one, which is like a, a spider web one, really cute. I've taken this out with me already. I love it. And then I got this one. Ah, look at it. <laughs> yes, uh, little bats on here. You can get these anywhere, okay? Like I got them off Timu and it was my first order on Timu and I was a bit suspicious of them, but I just wanted some cheap Halloween tat to cheer me up and it worked a little bit. Retail therapy. So I got those things from Timu, but the real moral of this story is that it's spooky season. <laughs> yes. So today's project is um, a Halloween costume. I am going to attempt to make a Morticia Adams dress. Now, I'm going to be using the Charm Patterns Bryant gown, which I've already purchased. I purchased it and tried to make it before for my Christmas party dress. It was a disaster, so I am nervous about this because it just didn't fit properly. So I'm hoping that this time it will work out right. Anyway, I have, I've got an illustration of it. So the wonderful people at Charm Patterns produced this calendar for Patreon, for the patrons, sorry, I'm covering my mouth there while I'm talking. And there's an illustration, I don't want it to go blurry. Let me just show you this. I think you can see that. So there's an illustration of the Bryant gown hack to turn it into a Morticia gown, basically. It's so cute. And anyway, I'm going to use this black scuba fabric that I got from Night and Fabrics in the sale. It was cheap. It needs at least 50% stretch, which I believe this has. I will measure it, but it looks like 50% stretch to me. It's nice and thick. And because this pattern is made with this knit fabric which doesn't fray you don't have to hem anything so it should be a very quick project and there's not a lot of pieces to this dress um so for the neckline instead of using a binding it's it's basically finished with decorative lace look at this oh my god it's so gorgeous i'll hold it in front of the wall there so you can just see so this will go sort of around the neckline and then back up like oh off the shoulder number you know how I feel about an off the shoulder number and I am meant to be going out for Halloween with my boyfriend we are yet to decide where we're going but I just have to make a Morticia dress anyway I don't even care if I don't go out this Halloween like I've never been out for Halloween before shock horror I know it's one of my favorite times of year and I've never been able to go out for Halloween because I've always either been in relationships with people who don't do Halloween. I wouldn't stand for that now, but I did in the past. Okay. Um, or it's just, I've just not been in a good place mentally. I've been single and I've just not been in a great place. And I, you know, when you're single, like I'm not going to personally, I'm not someone who's going to go out on my own to a party. I'm never going to be that person. As confident as I can be at times, I'm not going to be the type of person that can go to a party alone. So that's out. But yeah, um, this year though, excuse me, that is Cleo plucking on the carpet. Come here, come here. One moment, please. This naughty little floof plucking on the carpet say hello to our fans who am i kidding they're clearly your fans 
Look at the camera. Say hello to everyone. It's you they want to see, not me. She's got a thing about, she just won't look at the camera. Cleo. <laughs> what? She's gone weird. Shall we say goodbye? <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought there. So what was I saying? I can't remember. Anyway, um, I've also bought a wig because yes, I have black hair, but it's not very long. This is a hair piece. My actual ponytail is probably only about, I don't know, that long. It's, my hair is very thin. Polycystic go ovaries are not kind to my hair. They are thinning my hair and yeah, making it crappy. So I bought this long black wig. This was just off Amazon, a long black straight wig. And I'm, I'm a bit concerned because it is a, a front, like middle parting and I have a widow's peak and that's gonna poke out. But I've noticed Angelica Houston's Morticia, who is my favorite Morticia, okay? She's a handsome woman. I aspire to be like her when I'm older. I love her. Angelica Houston's Morticia has sort of the middle part and it kind of goes up a bit. And um, I'll, put, I'll put some pictures in. But I'm thinking if I have my natural hair out at the front of this wig, and sort of blend it into the wig this should work quite well but yes lovely black long very long wig um yeah and that's it basically so we've got the wig we've got the material the fabric we've got the trim we've got the pattern and now all we need is the motivation to actually make this product because i am still not at peak velvy condition right now. I am still a little under the weather mentally and yeah, but we persevere and we will get there. Um, yeah, so that's the plan, Morticia dress. I'm going to cut out the paper pattern pieces now. I've got the main dress pieces cut out, but I need to cut the Morticia gown pieces. So there's the sleeves and the flounce. I just love that word, <laughs> flounce. Um, yeah, the sleeves and the flounce to go on the dress and then to sew it together, it should be pretty easy. There's a couple of fisheye darts, which are not the greatest thing I sew, but you know, they. They do what they're supposed to do in the dress. They really shape it. I want this to be really like figure hugging, really like, <laughs> yeah, because I like that. I want it to show off my curves and I want to be the curvaceous Morticia that I've always wanted to be. When I was younger, I said that I wanted to be Morticia Adams on a semi-permanent basis and that is still true. Let's make it happen. Yes, okay. I'm gonna cut out the paper pattern. So here I am, many days later, finally cutting out my fabric. It is the 30th of October and I was supposed to be going to the Halloween party on the 28th, but I broke up with my boyfriend and since it was him I was supposed to be going with, then it didn't happen. Um, so I've taken a few days to kind of get myself feeling ready to do anything again because even though it was only a short relationship it still hurts that it didn't work out you know um it was my decision to end it but it was kind of a joint thing really because he said he'd been feeling the same it just wasn't wasn't gonna go anywhere long term so it was better to stop it now rather than months down the line and endure even more heartache so yes, I have been feeling very sorry for myself over the past few days and I have done absolutely nothing apart from binge watch spooky TV. I have watched Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities. I have watched Midnight Mass. I have watched The Fall of the House of Usher and I'm now watching The Midnight Club.
that just gives you an idea of just how many hours of TV I have been binge watching to try and get myself through this difficult period. Um, I'll be okay. It's just going to take a bit of time to, you know, it's, it's sad when things don't work out. You kind of mourn the loss of what could have been. And I know people are going through worse stuff than me at the moment. But considering my mental health was down the toilet anyway, this is kind of a another blow that is uh, has not helped. But the fact I'm doing something is a positive. So yes, I still want to try and get this done for Halloween. I'm obviously not going to wear it anywhere, but if I can make myself feel like glamorous Morticia Adams in the comfort of my own home, that may just help pull me out of this hole, you know? Please excuse my appearance. This is what three days of being in my pyjamas. Not the same pyjamas. I have washed and stuff. You know, I'm not that bad. But three days of just slumming in the house in my pyjamas, watching TV and sleeping. That's pretty much it. That's what this looks like. Anyway, I have finished cutting out the Morticia dress and I'm really proud of myself because it was an effort. I had to crawl around on the floor cutting out and I had to do it twice because the fabric... I had like six metres of fabric in two sections of three metres, so I did one bit, watched an episode of The Midnight Club, and then went back and did another bit. And now I'm going to sit and watch another episode of The Midnight Club. And I might start sewing tonight, but I might do it tomorrow. Really, there's no deadline now, because I'm not going out. So, you know, I'm purely doing this for me. So I'm not going to get stressed out about it. But yeah. It's all cut out, so I'm proud of that because that's the most I've done in three days. And, um, yeah, I feel just drained. Anyway, I'll report back when I've got something to report back. It is Halloween today, and have I found the motivation to start this project until now? No. Do I have the motivation to do this project now? I don't know. I'm sitting at my sewing desk and I'm about to put the darts, copy the darts onto the, the fabric. I've, I've cut them out, they're fishtail darts. So I've cut them out and I'm just gonna trace inside the lines with chalk. Um, this pattern is the Bryant gown pattern by Charm Patterns. I don't actually like this pattern. It's designed for a woven fabric, I believe, and I don't actually like it for that. I only bought it so I could make the Morticia dress. That is the only reason I bought this pattern because it's just not my style. Um, it's a beautiful dress, but I wouldn't wear something like this um, otherwise. So yeah, I mean, I would wear it as Morticia, obviously. I would wear this Morticia gown, but the actual Bryant gown pattern, I don't really like it that much. It's just not for me. So yeah, so I don't mind cutting out the darts. Basically, I'm, I've am i cut out a size, well, this chalk, actually, what is the point of this, this chalk? You know, this chalk that doesn't actually chalk on anything. It's so annoying. Like, come on. What the? I see using this all the time and it works why isn't it working for me I have no other way of doing this I don't have a, a chalk pen I might have to buy a chalk pen I think if I just go over this like many many times it will work anyway um yeah so I'm at my sewing desk I'm seemingly being productive I'm not feeling this at all. Halloween is one of my best times of year. And for the past few years, I have had the worst Halloweens ever. Last Halloween, well, actually last Halloween was nice. I went to Deal down on the coast um, to meet up with someone, a love interest at the time. And it was a nice weekend, but we ended up not working out, so that wasn't so great. 
the, the Halloween before I moved out of my ex's house and back into this house and I was very miserable and not in the Halloween spirit at all. It has worked just about. And considering this is my best time of year, obviously this year I've broken up with my boyfriend. I was supposed to be going out for Halloween with him. That didn't happen. And considering Halloween is my favourite time of year, um, I don't have a lot of luck. I have never been out for Halloween. Which sucks because, as I said, it's my favourite time of year. But I've never been out for Halloween. Every time I've had plans, something's gone wrong and I haven't been able to go. Um, my birthday is on Friday, 3rd of November. And I was meant to be going to see my boyfriend that day. Obviously, he is not my boyfriend anymore, so that's not happening. I am going out for dinner with my friend. Um day before so that will be nice but it's it's still just a bit sad that I'm gonna be on my own again so you know but such is life I am feeling very sorry for myself at the moment you can probably tell I will apologize for that but you know it is what it is anyway Let's hope that transforming myself into Morticia Adams will cheer me up and remind me who the F I am. Because I am not supposed to be sitting around moping about a boy, frankly. I am better than this. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to mark the rest of these darts. And then I will sew the darts because... I hate sewing darts, so let's just get those out of the way. Um, I don't even know if this is going to fit me. It may not. I think that's been another reason why I've been procrastinating with this pattern, because I did, like, I've tried to make this pattern before with some stretch velvet. Not a Morticia dress, but just a a bright gown but with stretch fabric so I sized down a lot to, to make sure it would fit so I, I sized down to a size 18 because the fabric was very stretchy and it came out way too big but the fabric was very very stretchy so this is less stretchy this is 50% stretch according to the measurements it should fit me well so Let's think positive. Anyway, yes, let's get on. judging me what has happened is I was going great guns and then one of my overlocker threads has snapped which if any of you have an overlocker you know 
That means I have to rethread the entire thing. I'm not happy about it. I needed a win today. This is not helping. Uh, which one is it? It looks like it's just got tangled. It has. It's got tangled. Which means I'm going to have to start again anyway, so might as well just do it. It's fine. Hmm. It's, you know, these things are sent to try us. <sighs> if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. That's what they say, isn't it? I'm sorry, I, I keep not looking into the lens because the lens is over here, big finger, and I look at my face when I'm talking for some reason. It's annoying. Why would you not do it so that... It, I don't know why... I know the lens can't be in the middle of the screen. I know it can't, but it would be so much easier if it was. Anyway, I'm going to rethread my overlocker. What I've done so far is... I'll show you. So I have... It's inside out, but bear with. Okay, so we've got the the front assembled with the fisheye darts and the princess seams. So this will go over the bust like this and it will have off the shoulder sleeves. And then the back has got the, the fisheye darts as well. And I've sewn up one of the side seams and I was just about to do the other on my overlocker and then the thread snapped. So after that, then I need to sew the sleeves, the underarm seam of the sleeves and set those in. Then I need to sew together the flounce bit on the bottom, which I believe is just six pieces, I think. I think there's front flounce, back flounce, like front, centre front and back, and then two side front, two side back. Nothing needs hemming because I'm using scuba and it doesn't fray. So I will just make sure my edges are neat, which they are pretty neat, I have to say. Um, and yeah, and then the lace is going around the neckline and that's it, done. So yeah, once I've got this assembled, this last seam sewn on the, the bodice, the main bodice part, I'm gonna put it on Veronica my dress form just to check the fit I don't want to put it on myself because I'm not wearing a proper bra or anything right now I'm wearing like a crop top thing and that's not going to be right if this is tight enough it might even hold me without needing a bra we'll see I'm not optimistic the girls are heavy but I'm going to try it on Veronica her bust is slightly smaller than mine anyway I'll try it on Veronica to check the fit the sleeves are a worry for me but the fabric is stretchy so I'm hopeful it is really quite stretchy I measured so the fabric has 50% stretch maybe a little bit more and I measured across the the sleeve like circumference at the narrowest point and added 50% more to that and that is more than my arm measurement so even if it was fully stretched it should fit round girl maths that's right isn't it <laughs> we'll see hopefully the sleeve will fit um, I'm quite squidgy as well, so if the sleeves are tight, they'll just kind of like suck my arms in, hopefully. I've only ever made one thing where the sleeves are too tight, and I still got it on. It was stretchy, but there was probably about 30% stretch in the fabric, and I don't wear that. And it came out really tight around my neck as well, it feels like I'm being suffocated. And I like, you know, I can't wear it comfortably. But yeah, I think, um, I look so tired, oh my god. I'm so sorry. I will put makeup on once this dress is done. I will transform myself into Morticia, sort of. Curvaceous Morticia. Anyway, I need to rethread my overlocker. Can you stop distracting me, please? So this is where we are so far on Veronica. Um, Veronica is my body double, but her boobs are smaller than mine. So 
my boobs will fill this out hers obviously don't but it's looking like it's gonna be figure hugging and then at the back look at that booty <laughs> i always look at this and i think is that what i look like from the back i'm so hermione but yes that is my booty i think i'm gonna be looking curvaceous in this this is gonna be hot I needed a win and I feel like this could be a win. Let's get the sleeves done. Okay, it looks like garbage on Veronica right now because she has no arms, but you get the gist. For those of you that don't know, garbage is trash in French. Um, but yeah, I think it's looking good. I just need to make the flounce and attach it, which will be easy. And then put the lace around the neckline and she's done. I'm actually really chuffed with how this is looking. And I think it's going to make me feel very glamorous and sexy and remind me that I am in fact a queen and not a pathetic little goblin that cannot leave her house. I, I haven't left my house in five days now and I intend to remain in my house for at least two more days. Sometimes it's just nice to be in your safe place you know but yes this I feel a lot better having got this far. I've mostly finished, so let's crack on. So I am now about to start assembling the flounce. I like that word, flounce. So I've got my side back flounce pieces here. There's two of those. And I need to attach those to either side of the centre back flounce, which I will retrieve in a minute. I'm just going to take all these pins out. <sighs> I was looking at the dress thinking it was quite short and then I realised the flounce pieces are quite long so it will be trailing on the ground. But I think the beauty of this is it's supposed to look kind of raggedy at the bottom so even if you wore it out and it got a bit, you know, scuffed up and ruined ruined um it would still work you know okay so these are the side flounce the back that's the side front i've got all my pieces over here on the floor this is the center front this must be the center back the back flounce yeah the back flounce is longer than the front because um, it's meant to sort of trail after you. As I make this, I'm getting quite excited because I have always wanted to be like Morticia Adams. Um, and I've always wanted to find my Gomez. And I thought I'd found my Gomez, I have to say. Unfortunately, it was not meant to be. But that's okay. There will be the correct Gomez for me. We will find each other eventually. Um, and then every day can be Halloween. Oh, I'm, I am an old romantic. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling excited about this. I think it will have the desired effect. I think it will make me feel happier and help me get out of the pit that I'm in currently. Okay, so we have center back flounce and the two side flounce pieces. It's the front at the back. Can we join these together? This should be really easy to sew. It's just straight seams. I'll put a couple of pins in just to keep it on track as I run it through the overlocker. 
been able to sew most of this on the overlocker. The only thing I didn't do on the overlocker was the darts and the princess seams because with the princess seams I sew them by machine first, regular sewing machine with a straight stitch. Uh, no, zigzag stitch, sorry. And then overlock them. It's just to make sure that there's no puckers because if I put them straight through the overlocker I'd probably end up with some puckers. And we don't have time for puckers. There we go, that's one side flounce on. Let's do the other. Side back flounce. <laughs> I've got this stupid thing from TikTok stuck in my head that I keep seeing on the For You page at the moment. It's like, who is that wonderful girl? Could she be any cuter? That is playing on my in my head like over and over and over at the moment. I feel like it's trying to subliminally hype me up again. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to sew these seams and I'll report back once the flounce is made. I have sewed the flounce on and now I'm coming to attach the lace to um, to the neckline and I'm worried that if I stitch it it's gonna be too tight around my shoulders however I do have very narrow shoulders so I think it should be okay it's only going to be around the immediate neckline I'm also unsure how to finish it at the back because I have to overlap the lace but I don't know the best way to cut it so that it still looks nice. I've sort of pinned it together at a point here and pinned it down. I think I'm just going to sew around the neckline and then I'll figure out the overlap at the back. I can always like fold it if I need to. I don't think I need to fold it at the centre front because I think it's going to sit quite nicely. I might just have to sew down the point here just to get that to lay flat. But I can, I can see how it is once it's on. I'm very nervous to do this because it could ruin it. This is the last thing. Shall I just go for it? Do I start at centre front? Maybe that would be the best. Mm, maybe you should start at centre back actually. Oh god, this is nerve wracking. This is so nerve wracking. This could all go wrong. I'm going to sew it with a a narrow zigzag. I'm going to start at centre back. I've decided. I think that's best. Um, cripes. This is so nerve wracking. Uh, I want it to be quite close to the edge as well. Oh my god, I'm just gonna go for it. It's gonna be okay. Looks pretty, right? <laughs> I guess I need to sort this back part out, decide what I'm doing with this. Um and then let's see what we're working with. The one side needs to be cut off, clearly. Oh, this is terrifying. I think I want them to come down to this point here, so <laughs> that 
that was scary but it's done and then do the same this side Oof. then join these two together with a little stitch these two little points actually I could have it like that so they're just kind of overlapping Oh, that looks sweet. I'm going to do a bit of hand stitching now and uh, I'll show you it when it's done. I'm just like any modern woman trying to have it all. A loving husband, a family. It's just I wish I had more time to seek out the dark forces and join their hellish crusade. That's all. You can, you shall, so it must be. She's done. Morticia is done. I'm over here looking dead right now. It's the lights. They're shining off my face. But she is done. And I love the neckline. It is a little tight on the shoulders because the neckline stretches, but the lace is not stretchy. So I might actually replace the lace with some stretch lace. Um, I did my best Morticia Adams makeup job here. Um, not the best i'm not great at eyeshadow but you get the gist i think this wig is just a cheap one from amazon so long um i'll try and go back and show you i don't think you're gonna see hold on it's making my face blow out a little bit but you get the idea so we've got this nice sort of raggedy bottom that goes around the back as well this probably looks awful from the back and then we've got these sleeves. I actually love it. I don't love the way the light is reflected off it and showing everything, but I actually love it though. Um, I do feel like a spooky babe. Anyway, thank you for joining me on this somewhat miserable, chaotic, weird, spooky sewing journey that almost didn't get done, but did get done proud of myself please do like and subscribe and share my videos with anyone you think might be interested in watching me have a a bit of a menti bee while i'm trying to sew things um i'm hoping to get back to more regular content so watch this space as always i love you all thank you for being here with me and i'll be bringing you a new video soon